Good afternoon, Miss Saint Nina. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Miss Saint Nina, can you tell me about yourself? My name is Saint Nina D. Caliso. I'm 25 years old. I'm a high school graduate. I live in Solido, Navas, Aklan. I have a three children and my husband is a bicycle driver. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, Why do you want to work as a maid? To have a high salary, ma'am. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because ma Malaysia is near from the Philippines. How are you qualified for this job? Because ma'am, I'm honest, I'm hardworking, and I will have to learn ma'am. May I know what is your education level is? High school graduate, ma'am. What is your recent working experience? Housemate, ma'am. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. And whose baby you are taking care of? My baby, ma'am. Okay. How about elder or older people? Do you have the experience that you take care? No, ma'am, but I'm willing to learn, ma'am, and take care. Okay. Do you have any other special skills? Uh, washing, cleaning, ma'am, and laundry, ma'am. Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Uh, Filipino food, ma'am, like rice, fried, fried fish, adobo, tinolang manok, ma'am. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores like cooking, cleaning, ironing, and washing, which do you like most? Cleaning, washing, ironing, cooking, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My mother and my husband, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone or cell phone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone or cell phone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone or your cell phone to your employer in the morning. And your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing, abusing your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? I'm honest, ma'am. Kind and industrious. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will do my job well, ma'am. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Can you promise? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, example, breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Do you have any tattoo in your body? No, ma'am. Do you take any prohibited drugs before? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation or surgery? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit to work? 
Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Miss Sint Nina, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members pass away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? Ma'am, I will continue to work until I finish my contract, ma'am. Okay, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? My name, my name is Sentinel Medical Issue and I want to work in Malaysia because I want to have a high salary that I will help my family and I will support the education of my children, ma'am. Okay, Miss Sint Nina, what do you want to tell to your employer who is watching? your video. Ma'am, please choose me because I'm in this field, science, and I'm ready to learn and I'm working, ma'am. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Sint Nina. We will update your agency if there's any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am.